Organizers for an upcoming camp say the mission is to help grieving children and families across the country. Camp, I believe, is what we're talking about here. It's a free children's bereavement camp. It gives children an opportunity to express how they're feeling and tell a story in a safe environment. We're told many of these children come to the camp to have the opportunity to have fun and feel normal again. We have Heather Tumberlin with Camp I Believe to talk more about the program. Appreciate you coming in thanks on a for Friday. Us. Yeah, thanks for having us. So listen, this is a, a hard subject to get kids to open up about, and this provides them a safe place, you say? Absolutely. So often, you know, we'll see a child come in and they won't really have a lot to say. They'll just mm -hmm. be kind of quiet. But by the end, through the grief exercises and through the relationship building, they've turned, you know, a corner and they're blossoming and they know that they've now built these relationships with other children who have had loss and they um, they know that they're not alone mm -hmm. and that that is exactly it absolutely because oftentimes children they, they do uh, get lost in that process of dealing with grief can you talk about some of the things that you help them address sure so we um, we do fun activities like zip lining so that's the normal piece of it but then we do things like um, like feeling exercises where we use colors and different types of things so that we can relate to children on their level but we really get into to their emotions because we we forget to talk to kids sometimes about about how they're feeling we just assume you know that they may not understand what's going mm -hmm. on but kids understand so much more than we give them credit for so it's just a safe place for them to really express themselves and it can be hard for them to open up and in this environment they're with their peers right well they don't want to make their parents sad or like whoever's mm -hmm. with them so this is just a different environment so that they can kind of express how they're feeling. And as you know, it's important to do that because if you don't express that, it can lead to other things. Absolutely. Um, we just love this camp and we hope that if you have a child who's experienced a loss that you'll sign up and come visit us. Okay, and they are accepting applications right now. You've got You've got something planned for September 29th. Yeah, right? it's coming up very soon. It's the 10th anniversary. We have about 50 spots for children. Mm -hmm. It's free of charge. It's paid through our foundation. So um, please visit the website. Call us if you have any questions. We'd love to get you guys some information. All right, and this is in Alberta, that camp there. And again, the applications need to be turned in and they can be found online? They can. Um, the website, I believe, is on the screen. And um, they don't have to be a child who's been on our hospice service with Kindred Hospice. It can be any child who's experienced a loss in the past year. And important to note. Thank you again Thank for you stopping for having by. Us. And we'll have this posted on foxntv.com in case you missed that web address. We'll have it posted for you there shortly.